we have been redeemed to reign. Romans chapter 5 and verse 17. For if by the one man's offense death reigned through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. Here is a very important truth that you and I must understand which the Word of God brings to us. Essentially, the Word of God is saying here in this verse that through one man, that is through Adam, we were brought under subjection to many things. We were brought in subjection to sin, to death, to Satan, and to all of the consequences of sin. So Adam brought us into subjection. He made us slaves. We were overpowered. We were dominated by all of these things, sin and everything that results therein. But in the same verse he says, but through one man's obedience, that is through what Jesus Christ did in obeying the Father and dying for us on the cross and giving his life as a ransom and raising, being raised up from the dead, through one man's obedience, what has happened to us? We have been overwhelmed by God's grace. He says, we have received abundance of grace. That is, God has dispensed to us and God has endowed us with so much that we could never have imagined that we could, this would be given to us. Grace. God has poured out grace upon us and he has given us the gift of righteousness. That means God put this upon us. He says, I'm making you right in my eyes. I'm cleansing you of your sins. I'm justifying you and I'm making you right before me. And what will happen as a result? He says, but we who have received abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness, we will reign in life through Jesus Christ. Through Adam, we were enslaved. Through Jesus Christ, we reign. Through Adam, we were brought into subjection. We were oppressed. We were underneath all of sin and, and all the demonic powers and all that came as a result of that. Through Jesus Christ, we are above that. We reign. We are in a place of dominion. You and I have been put in a place of dominion through the redemption that Jesus Christ has given to us. So remember, as you go through life, God has positioned you to reign. God has positioned you to have rule, authority, dominion, something he intended to accomplish through the first Adam, as we read in Genesis 1, 26 and 27. That which he intended to accomplish through Adam, he has now restored it for the born again believer through the person of Jesus Christ. So you and I must learn what does it mean to reign in life? What does it mean to have rule and authority and dominion? What is the correct expression of it? And of course, we don't want to go off in tangents and do wrong things, but we want to walk in the right expression of what it means to reign in life. You've been redeemed to reign. And we're going to talk more about this this week and learn how to walk as kings, as people with authority, as people with dominion, and learn how to use it in life because Jesus died to make that possible for us. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us revelation, give us understanding so that we will know how to reign in life through Jesus Christ. We thank you for the abundance of grace. We thank you for the gift of righteousness that has been put upon us. Teach us, Lord, how to have dominion on the earth as you intended. We ask this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.